Hi, this is John Kenlopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. I want to spend a few minutes uh, to talk a little bit about um, dry macular degeneration and geographic atrophy. We're seeing here an almost 80 year old uh, lady, good friend of ours, we've done cataract surgery uh, 15 years ago, and she's suffering from the silent indolent type of macular degeneration that really atrophies the retina. There's a, the retina here in the macular area is essentially missing. There's uh, a window through uh, to see the choroid, slight scarring, uh, classic ge geographic atrophy here on our Optos uh, wide field view, a, a small uh, nevus here. And basically the reason I'm showing this example is because I have images of this lady two years ago showing what we're trying to do with uh, PBM, with uh, photobiomodulation of the retina. Uh, it's used, uh, PBM is used in muscular uh, injuries, uh, in the arthritic uh, and arthritis pain, and uh, we're seeing very positive signs in using it in uh, cases such as this. We can see that uh, obviously in autofluorescence, the geographic atrophy area blacks out, so there's no activity here. The rest of the retina does have healthy autofluorescence that's uh, shadowed just by the normal vessels. And the edge between geographic atrophy and normal residual retina is hyperfluorescing. It is working in overheat mode. You can see how this is very white, very bright. I'm not sure these pictures do the actual imaging justice here. Maybe in this image here, focusing a little bit better. And we'll see the images from today. And I have to note here that we have not done an, a uh, PBM treatment here for almost two months, but we can see how much after two years of using PBM once a month in the winter months, this area has really come down and she's improved from a uh, vision of 2,400 to sometimes 2,200, sometimes 2,100. So in essence, going back from the over activity, over metabolizing edge of healthy uh, tissue in the geographic atrophy border to something that's a little bit calmer and able to give better vision, potentially preserve further degeneration. So I hope you find this uh, uh, example helpful. This is uh, what we're doing uh, the last three years as uh, treatment for these end stage cases. And nothing pleases me more to hear that there's many institutions going into research mode on this. We recently read an article in Retina today from a German group showing very optimistic signs using the same technique uh, uh, with a little bit more frequent treatments. Uh, they're doing two treatments a week. Um, so we're probably going to try a more frequent schedule on the PBM treatment. This is John Kenalopoulos from Athens signing out. Thanks so much.